Hey guys, it's Mark Sell from O'Brien Real Estate Cranbourn with another edition of my property news for 2020, where the real estate information is on the house. It's been another exciting feature packed week since the most significant federal budget handed down since World War II. Last week was our second week since private inspections recommenced and we're seeing the flow on effects in our numbers from the pent up demand. The number one question often asked to me is, is it a good time to buy or sell? And that question is being asked a hell of a lot more right now. My answer is simple. It's always a yes, and that is dependent on you doing both of those things, buying and selling at the same time. The result is generally relative because you're transacting in the same market in both directions. Of course, this question does not apply to all people because they could be either first home buyers or property investors wanting to only buy. Rightly, we all want to buy at the lowest point. Some people will try and time the market, but the right property choice should determine the timing. It's asset selection, not timing selection. It's time in the market, not timing it and buying the wrong asset. If you're looking to buy again and sell in 12 to 18 months, that's a risky punt in my belief. Purchases in real estate should be made with the long term in mind. Currently, the national home ownership is 11 years for homes and 9.6 for units. So that time as a minimum to hold is a good place to start. If you're buying with long-term view, it doesn't matter about time in the market, it matters about asset selection. If you find the right home to buy, remember that opportunity to buy could be another 10 years down the track. No one can pick the bottom or the top of the market for that matter. Use the GFC as a great example. The market fell back and bounced back very quickly. In all reality, the real estate market has never fallen more than 10% below the previous market since 1985, and this is why the market timing beats the market. Same could be happening now. We have great economic stimulus and low interest rates, which gives people confidence to buy. And remember, people can easily hold a property with these interest rates, so it's important to buy the right property when it comes to the market and not have timing determine your asset selection, nor determine your time in this life. The news covering the market this week, first home buyers continue to surge on volume with 12,302 first home buyer loans settling in August, equating to the highest monthly figure since October 2009, according to the ABS. The value of new loan commitments for housing rose sharply in August, up by a record 12.6%. Aussies on average are spending 1.7 billion a month on foreign purchases with their credit cards. In Australia, the August foreign spending was just 664 million. A year ago in 2009, 55,000 students arrived in Australia to study. This year to August, 50 students came to Australia. Across the O'Brien network for the week, we saw activity rise with 91 new listings to the market. 110 properties under contract and 85 sales. Overall, sales across the state reported by realestate.com reveals 1,021 private sales, up 227 from a fortnight ago. That puts O'Brien Real Estate in the market at 8.3% for the Victorian market. Remember, if you're considering selling, launch your property on the market with O'Brien, you can go in the draw to win one of three great prizes the major prize being a Volkswagen Polo, valued at $26,770. That's all for this week. I'm Mark Sewell, and remember, the information provided is of a general nature. You should always seek independent, legal, financial, taxation, or any other advice regarding your own unique circumstances. If I can help you in any way with your real estate journey, please don't help, hesitate to contact me, 0413 719 821. Guys, stay well, stay positive and stay safe. Cheers.